Begin the current daf, Masechet is Bamatziya daf, Nun Beis. We begin on the bottom of the Nalf of the Beis, four lines up in the bottom of the Amid, where the Gemara continues the halacha of the previous Mishnah regarding this halacha, as uh, we're discussing regarding business, specifically regarding the halacha of Aina, as we said, of unfair pricing. What, what is the halacha uh, as it applies in our Mishnah, specifically uh, money regarding the halachas of uh, general merchandise. So Unfair pricing of coins, of currency, where we have actually different opinions of, Remeir says it's 124th, Bidu says 112th, Shimon says 16th, and the Gemara contrasts that with uh, another garment, which in the previous mission no one disagreed, then it said it's going to be uh, just 16th. The halacha of Pachas Mikein Yakut, which interesting, the Gemara is going to talk about what happens if a coin depreciates. Actually, cut it up because. And the question is also, even if it's more than the, the let's say the sixth, uh, you'll also cut it up. Uh, the Aragumar talks about when you let it back out um, regarding the currency. And here, unlike the previous Mishnah, the Gemara differentiates between Bekrach and and Lashalchani. When you're in in a, in a, in, a, in a city, it, and up until when you can show the money, check it. From the villages, is our our is good or not? Now, in the time, what's going to be in the or the face value of a coin? Value of the amount of metal in the coin based on weight. Uh, after some time, the coins will become diminished. This is I know the is what's going to be that in coins itself. The, 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 the coin might be um, less valuable than it's supposed to be. Mishnah opens up and says, hasela. Four lines up in the bottom of the Amid. How much? That's, that's in, in circulation. So, so like, as we said, it, how much should the coin be chaseira, should be lacking, and that and if it's in circulation, Pizza store owner, believe by enough that it shouldn't be a problem about enough because if it's not its full value, you're giving him a quarter in Talmudic times, but it's only worth 23 cents. Five cents. Could it be missing and it's not going to have enough? So we have many different opinions. Remember, he says, Arbi Isaris. He says, For Isaris is Isser dinner. Which is um, uh, which is a uh, 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 Easter to a dinner, meaning it's one twenty four. Because as Rashi explains, to a dinner, and the ma are two punyonim, a punyon is two isogen, and um, so the sell is of a schas up to Easter per each dinner, which is one twenty fourth of its weight. So then there would be I know. Wait. So then there is Aina, which Sigmar uh, on the next half is going to explain. Like, why is there any difference? Six. And here, some say this, some say that. But that's opinion number one. Rabbi Huda Aimer, he says that Arba Punyonis, four Punyonis to a seller, which is Punyon the dinner, which is one twelfth. Um, even if the seller was cast up to four Punyonis, one Punyon pin, one per dinner, which is one twelfth of its weight, there is no Aina. And Rabbi Shimon Aimer, he said, Punyonis, eight Punyonis to a seller, which are Shnei Punyonis the dinner, which is a sixth, like all other types of Aina. So that's uh, the three different opinions, six, twelfth, or or twenty fourth. Yeah. Until when are you allowed to back out? So says the Mishnah, Bekrachim, when you're in the city with our money changed. Show it to the money changer. Like farm in villages where there's no shulchan, there's no money changer. I don't have bus until uh, Friday evenings where a person is coming Friday afternoon uh, to prepare for the shu de Shabbos. He goes shopping. Then he knows if people are going to take the coins from him or not. Now, im haya, if the giver, um, then I feel the and even after 12 months, the kabla menu, 
he takes it from him, which Gemara is going to ask, didn't you say it's only a bit of Shabbos? Then it's even after 12 months that he takes takes it back. And he only has complaints. He has Explain what type of complaints. To translate what these words mean. Now, more of a nice now that you could give this coin for the Allah of Hilul. Which Gemara is going to explain when we're saying you're using this eroded coin, are you using its actual value? Using its face value? But the, but the mission is clearly differentiating between um, using the coin in, in, in Masa Matan, in business, versus using it for Maishr Shani, and Ve'ena Chayshish. And, and the reason is, you don't have to be concerned because She'enoi uh, that um, invalidate the coin because of this little It's El Nefesh Ra. It's really a bad characteristic that a person won't want to take this coin because of what's diminished. So therefore, when you're using it for chila, my so then you could use this coin. Even though a guy, you're going to come to the store, he's going to look, come to you, no, you're going to give it. But, but for, for, for chila, my for, for the Torah, you're allowed to use this coin, which means, with what value? Even if it's, it's missing bones, and that, Right, no, there is a limit, right. And the Gemara is going to discuss some of these things. Says Gemara The Gemara says there seems to be a contradiction because the wording of the Brisa says different wording than our Mishnah. The Brisa says, and there will be enough. So obviously, these measurements of these three opinions of 24, of 12, or 6, those are enough. Our Mishnah says, so obviously with these shiurim are not aina until there's more. So so what is it? Is it twelfth aina or is it not aina? The wordings seems to be a mis- Gosh, It's not a difficulty. The truth is, I'll tell you that these shiurim are aina, like the Bryce has said. When our Mishnah says lo yehe, it wasn't going on the shear. It was going on less than that shear. Tana di dan mimata lamala. The Tana by Mishnah was mentioning from bottom up, and the Mishnah was saying like this. A seller that keeps on diminishing and eroding until how much could you still use it until, let's just say, until it diminishes this and this amount. Once it reaches this amount, then there is going to be a halacha of aina. Whereas Tanabra, the town of the Brisa says, the Yeshba, that there is going to have aina, for Chashem el Malamata, he's counting from top down. He's saying, if you have a coin that diminished, how much diminishing that will be aina? So he explains that. Um, Whatever is for sure a problem, for example, let's say 70 surahs or 6 or 5 is aina, until 4, and 4 is included. The town of our Mishnah, 4 is not included in lo yehei. And, and, and therefore that's the way the Gemara resolves, uh, that it's not a contradiction. Well, well the, our Mishnah doesn't really say uh, even the word ad. It's just saying that that's conceptually what the Mishnah was doing. The Mishnah was counting, you know... Uh... More, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. The Shaloyehe is up until that. But then the words of actually 112th, 112th, whatever those are, those. What's the, the Gemara asks a basic question. Mishnah, what's the difference in our Mishnah, Besela, the Pligi? Our Mishnah suddenly has three different opinions when you talk about a coin. Well, Mishnah, Betalas, what's the difference regarding regular merchandise, which the previous Mishnah of Mtesma Bays said a sixth of the price? The like Pligi, no one disagrees over there. And Rabbi says, you're right, Mount Tana Talas, who's the town of a previous Mishnah of merchandise? Rib Shimonhi. That in our Mishnah by a coin, he says it's just, but really true there is they do disagree in our Mishnah and there too. Abayami says, no, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why no one disagrees over there. Talas, buy a talas, buy merchandise, Ajtus Machal Inish. Up until the sixth, a person would be Michael. Why? Because the army inchi, meaning why would a person be Michael be pardoned? He's paying up until the sixth uh, overpriced. Is people say, Ashik Ligabach, if you need clothing for your body, so pay pay a little bit more. So a person's willing to pay. But for your food, don't buy only if it's worth that value. So when it comes to merchandise, yeah, people are willing to pay a little bit more. So everyone agrees a 24th, a 12th will not be enough, only a six will be. But sell another and a coin, keeping the since 
it's not used in circulation. It's 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 a, it's a little eroded. Like mochel, person would not be mochel. Yeah, even for a twenty fourth or a twelve, possibly, and therefore that's why they disagree in our mission, but not in the previous mission. Now, Gufa, the Gemara goes back to the Brisa that we mentioned. The Brisa said it's wording. It's really like our mission. It's just that its wording is a little bit different. At kamate haselach haseda. How much should a coin be missing? The yeheba ina, and that should be ina. So we just said it just says yeheba, and Amish says shalo yeheba. Whatever we said, it's the same thing. So Meirami says Arbi says forty something. One twenty fourth. The Biudami says dal pundiyos, which is pundi ladiner, which we said is one twelfth. Shemunami says shmoin the pundiyos, eight pundiyos, which is shnei pundi ladiner, which is one sixth. Which again, these are the same thing we said in our Mishnah. Now the Brisa continues, however. And this is what we're coming to discuss. Yes, Sir Al Kane. So the Gemara later on is going to explain the Ahmed Bayes that uh, it means to say that if it didn't get diminished, the amount of Aina, if it was more value than that, so then Moichur Bishavya, then you could sell it for its face value because it hasn't diminished um, for, the, for the amount of. Uh, all that it would be problematic. That would be a no. Now, says the Breitha further, How much could it get diminished and that you even allowed to hold on to it? Meaning that you don't have to destroy it. What we just spoke about was regarding for its face value of that it will still consider it as that coin. Now we're asking, let's say really, really got eroded. How much would it, could it get eroded that you even allowed to hold on to it? So the, the, the Bryce explains. The Sela, if you have a coin that's a Sela, that's a minted coin, and it got diminished, ad shekel. Remember, the way you could understand this Bryce is if you understand that their coins were based on the weight of the actual coin, if this got diminished, that is like a shekel now. So, I don't hold on to it because a person to sell it as if it was the value of a, of a, of a Sela. Because it's so recognizable that this is not a seller anymore. But if it diminishes from the value of a shekel, then you can't hold on to it anymore because you're going to come to fool people and sell it to them as if it's a shekel. Because the diminishment would not be recognizable in regarding to a shekel because since it's, 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 it's uh, wide and, um, and uh, it just became thinner because in the beginning it was a seller, so it doesn't look anything less than a shekel, which she explains shekel is a coin that's a half of a sella. A dinner is a smaller coin that two of them are worth a shekel. So we're saying that a sella, you let it hold on to it, odd shekel. But if it's less than that, then you can't hold on to it anymore because you might fool people that it's a shekel. But dinner, if let's say you had a dinner that was deteriorated, that you could hold on to out until it, it's uh, the value of a raiva, a quarter. Then you're allowed to hold on to it. Now, the Gemara assumes that it means a quarter of a dinner. The Gemara later on is going to ask why by a sella that you're only allowed to hold on to it up until half of its value, which is a shekel, and it's only by a dinner you could hold on to it up until a quarter of its value. When it's uh, lacking and it stands on the value uh, less than a quarter, however, so that the Bryce is saying that you cannot hold on to because then you might come to use it for a arriva, which is a quarter of a dinner. Now, Pachis Mikain Isser. Now, if it's less than this by an Isser, then it's Asser, which you might later on is going to explain what is this saying or what's this going on. How do we interpret this line that we just said? Now, continues the Bryce. Hare Zer. So th- these that we said that you now hold on to these ca- coins because they could be deceptive. Loyim Karen, you're not allowed to sell it. And it wasn't permitted for him to sell it, even if it's for its monetary value, not for the face value. You can't sell even for its monetary value. Loy Lataga, not to a merchant, Loy Lachadam, not to a mobster, Loy Lahadag, not to a murderer. And the reason is, they fool people with these coins. And out of fear, people will take it from them for its face value. Eli Kavenda, what you do with it is you make a hole in it and be it lend a bit of a benoy, and you hang it on the you try, your son or your daughter's neck, you make jewelry out of it, but you can't, you can't hold on to it anymore because this could be used deceptively. Now, the Gemara explains the Bryce. The time the Bryce said, the seller, when you told me what a seller, 
you could hold on to it from its deterioration ad shekel. And by Bedina, we said ad drive until a quarter. So Igmar asked a pretty easy question. Maishna Basella, what's the Maisella ad shekel up until a shekel, which is half of its value? Maishna Bedina, ad drive, what's the Maisella up until a quarter? Why, why by dinner would be a, 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 a 75% and near 50%? So Amabai says, no, my roiba de ketoni nami, what, what, what does the Bryson mean when it says a quarter of the dinner? It means roiba shekel. So Rashi explains that um, there's a small coin of a half a dinner, which is called in the Gemara a sela medina. It's a quarter of a shekel, which actually is half of a dinner. So it's actually the same thing as the sella to the shekel. And Amarabi says, Deganami, precise reading indicates this because the Gitani Roy Vav, the Gitani Reviya, Shmami No. As Taisi explains, he says, although um, Reva uh, could be uh, explained as, um, as a, a quarter of a dinner, as he brings a Raya from a Mishnah, but if we were talking about a Reva of a dinner, you should have said Reviya. Then you wouldn't have made a mistake to mean Reva of a shekel. But the fact that we said Reva, not a revere, revere would mean a quarter of it. Reva it would mean, it seemed to indicate that it's a reva of a shekel, shema mina, that it's actually half of a dinner, which is actually the same thing as by the seller of a, of a shekel. So the Gemara asks, but it's interesting, why would you make the dinner, when you're talking about its half, dependent on the shekel, why don't you just, just say a dinner until a chatzizuz, which is half of a dinner? Why would you say the quarter of the shekel? So when it says, yeah, Milsa Agaboka Gamashman, parenthetically, we're teaching you something. You could have a dinner that comes from a shekel, because, like we're saying, there's the raiva of the shekel, that's the half of a dinner. So that's all it's telling us that you could, uh, to maintain it, uh, that's why we're saying that. Say little Rabami, so that's the more that supports Rabami. Because Om Rabami says, dinner habami shekel. What does that mean? If a shekel, which is a half of a seller, if it deteriorated until it became half of it, which it became a dinner, you're allowed to hold on to it and use it as a dinner. And dinner above my cellar, however, if a dinner is from a cellar, which is double that of a shekel, then also then you're not hold on to it, even to use it as a dinner, because since it came from a coin that was very thick and wide, people would make a mistake on it and they would think that it's actually a shekel and they would come to take it for double of its value, not for a dinner, but for a shekel. So then you can't hold on to it. So again, it's, it's, it's like how we look at things in comparison to what it originally was. Uh, would people understand that it's half of that? Yeah, but not more than that. And to, to avoid confusion, that's when he said you can't hold on to it anymore. You have to, you have to make a hole in it and use it as jewelry. Now, the Bryce has said, Pach is mekain, less than this. Iser, by an Iser, Aster is forbidden. So he says, my kamar. Um, you can't say, as it sounds like, Oh, that if it's pach is mikain, if it's less than this. In other words, if the cella is less than a shekel, if let's say the dinner is less than uh, half of a dinner, by an iser, then you're not allowed to hold on to it because what does it have to do with iser? Iser is a small uh, um, uh, 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 currency. But even a, even a minute amount, you told me that a cella up a little shekel, nothing more. So what would the word pach is mikain iser be aser? What why are you mentioning an iser for? So Mabaya says hachikama. Going on the ratio, we said that um, it, what it's talking about is the pichsa cell. When we were talking about uh, the halachas of s- using the coin for for payment for something like the halacha of our Mishnah, what the, what the Bryce was saying was if pichsa cell if the cell depreciated more than the value of a no, which again according to made the way he holds, according to made the way he holds. Like we're saying, is it 124, is it 112? Then, if it's more by an Isser, then it's Asr, then it's going to be forbidden to use it um, for its face value. Which, as Tais explains in the Maskal Omar Baya, it's talking about, even if he has in mind to give back the Ina, it's going to be forbidden because it's a Mechach Tais. But if it's Kedir Ina, then you'll be able to use it for its face value. As long as you give back the Ina, if the guy claims it before the amount of time it takes to show it to a money changer, and it's permitted because the, 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 the sale is valid, and, and less than Kedayana, then you can sell it for its face value, even if he does not not intend to give back Kedayana, because it's Mechila right away. So that's what he's saying. That that's where um, it's going to be forbidden. So. 
So I'm like, Rav says, what do you mean? Yachid, that's again, I feel a master, not me. What do you mean? Even if I knew the amount more, um, you can't use it for its face value. That's, that's the Allah we said in the Mishnah. So Elam Rav, rather, Rav says, Pachsa Sela, if the Sela got depreciated, Iser Ladinar, uh, and this exactly, if you look at the words of the mayor in the Mishnah, when he said, Arab- That's what the word, uh, the words of the Brisa of Pachas Mikin Iser is going on. If it's an Iser to the dinner, that's Aser to use for its face value. If it does not intend to give it back, because oh, that's a no. That's a stomach, right, Mayor. The, the Bryce is anonymously like a Mayor. So now if you read those words, now it makes sense. It's exactly what, when you say Pachas Iser, it means Iser for the dinner. And as you saw the words of Mayor in the Mishnah, that's um, the 124th. Uh, that Remeyer held. Now, the Gemara continues on this theme and says, Snan Hasam. Learn the Mishnah within a sect of Kalim that says, Sela If you have a Sela that became invalidated, okay, it became uh, 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 in, 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 invalid. So they, what they did is they went and they used it as, as weights. So Tameya, it's Mekabal Tama from here on because you made it into a Kli, into a vessel. You used it. It's, it's now as weights. Now, continues the Mishnah, how much could a seller become lacking that you still have to hold on to it? Again, we always have to be concerned that someone might use it um, in a discriminatory way. So, Lesela, it's Shnei Dinar. If the seller wrote it up to two Dinar, so then uh, that's, that's the value of a, of a shekel, which we said already. That's, that's a uh, half of its original weight, then it, it may still be kept. Pachis um, Mikain, if the seller wrote it to, to less than half of its weight, so then Yakuts, so then you have to go ahead and cut it into two because the problem is people might use it as a shekel when it's not even worth a shekel. So then you got to cut it up. Yes, Al Kane, but if let's say, what's the luck of the seller wrote it to a point where it lost more than Kedena? But retain more than half its original weight. My what's the halacha? So it's not it's not yet uh, more than half, but it's still more than kedai ina. Meaning it's more than the twenty fourth or the twelfth or whatever. So Ravuni says, you're right, both of them. Pachis mi kenyakuts, yes, I kenyakuts. In both cases, it has to be destroyed. Um, and um, in either one. Um, it's still going to be mistaken um, for a uh, for a, a shekel, and as Gemara is going to explain this momentarily, uh, what's the understanding of Rav Huna's opinion? And Rav Yamar, he says that no, paches mikein yakuts. Only if the seller was less than half of its weight, uh, they have to destroy it. But yes, I can yikaim. But if it's more than that. Then you could hold on to it because, as Rashi explains, that regarding the sella, it's recognizable its depreciation. You're not going to come to confuse it with the sella. So if it's worth more than half, that's okay. Because why? What should be the problem? Regarding a shekel, if anything is worth more, regarding a sella, people could tell that it's worth less. So therefore, he holds if it's worth more, you don't. You could keep it. Meaning worth more than half. So you want to you ask Rapunda from the following. Brice as the Gatintum base. We had brought this Brice before regarding the case of Sela Shapichsa, of the, of the coin that uh, depreciated. We said, yes, Al Kane, if it's worth more than a shekel, we said, okay, Mechim Beshavia. You could sell it according to its actual value, meaning not its face value, because it's, 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 it's not worth its face value. Now, my love, aren't we talking about that shapichsa yesi mechder no asabat? But but it, but it did appreciate more than the amount of of the it's a of a twelfth or twenty fourth. So obviously you're allowed to hold on to it. So that obviously is not like Rav Huna who says that yakuts have to cut it up. Because you know, no, yisera. When we're saying that it's more than that, it's more than even that of aina. I mean that katu lepachs mechder no asa. It didn't depreciate even the amount of Aina. Again, each mandam according to what he holds Aina is. Then we're saying, 
you could sell the coin to, and as Rashi explains, then Bishabi would mean Biafa, meaning you would sell it according to what it's fate. It appreciated more than they know, even though it's still less than half. He holds you got to cut it up. And uh, and the Bryce does not contradict him because it's talking about that it didn't appreciate even the, in the value. I know. So therefore, that's why you could you could hold on to it. You could even use it for what its face value is. But the Gemara says, but the Gemara continues asking on Rav Huna from that same Brisa. The Brisa says, "At How much um, should it depreciate that you're allowed to hold on to it? So he says, out shekel up until half of its value." Now, my love says the Gemara isn't the Brisa saying the pachas purta purta, meaning that. It was saying you're allowed to hold on to it till a shekel, that as it keeps on getting less and less and less, you're allowed to hold on to it. Obviously, it's not going to get confused with a seller, and that's a uh, refute to Rebunah. Rebunah says, no, even if it's more than half, but it's more than the Kedayana, meaning when I say more than half, meaning it's not yet depreciated half, has more than the value of that, but it depreciated uh, the amount of the Ena. He says, you got to cut it up. But here you see in the Bryce, the simile not like that, saying, it's saying it's appreciating uh, a hundredth, a, 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 a 99th, 88th, 7th. It keeps on depreciating, and then you're up to uh, half. It sounds like you're allowed to hold on to it, but that would refute Rav Huna in that, in that, in that gray area. So it's like, no, we're talking about the Nafal but Afkas Bokhad Zimna. It fell into the fire, and it got depreciated in one shot. So then it doesn't look like a seller. And yeah, if it's half, it looks like a shekel. But if it's more than a shekel, it could get confused with a seller. And actually, then you wouldn't be able to use it. Now, the Bryce that we mentioned, Amamar, the time the Bryce has said, as we quoted that, if you have a Matbeya Shanifsal, they got that's invalid, you can't use it anymore. What should you do with it? You can you make a hole in it, you find the you hang it on your son or your daughter's neck. But I mean, this says the Gemara, it seems to be contradicted from the following Bryce. The Bryce says, Lo yasen mishkal, may mishkal When you have this invalid coin, don't make it as a weight between your weights. Lo and don't throw it between your scrap metal that you have. And don't make a hole in it and hang it from your son or his neck. Melt it down, or cut it up, or throw it to the Dead Sea. So that seems to be a contradiction what you're supposed to do with these invalid coins. And some say, the catch is not difficult. It depends where you're cutting it up. I mean, it depends where you're making the hole. When did we say... Um, that it's um, that it's enough to make a hole in it was if you make the hole in the middle. Common that said, when do we say that making a hole is not enough? Is if you make it on the side of the coin, because the the the, the, the deceptive person that's going to find it, he's just going to cut around it until he gets through the hole, and he's still going to fool others and he's going to use it as a shekel, because the shekel is half the weight of the seller. That's what we said that making a hole is not going to be enough, and that's not a contradiction. Now the Mishnah said, The Mishnah says, up until when are you allowed to back out? So on that, said the Mishnah, depends. Big Krachim in the cities, Ajir, Lashulchan, until you show it to the money changers. Big Farm in the villages, under Arab Shabbos, until Arab Shabbos. Says, Yimar Mishnah, Basel, Demaflik, what's the difference by this Mishnah of ours? When we spoke about coins, we differentiate between cities and villages. But Mishnah, what's the difference between the previous Mishnah? When we spoke about merchandise, we didn't make any differentiation. We just said the amount of time it takes to show to a, a merchant or to a relative. We didn't say if it if, if it's a village or if it's a uh, or if it's a city. So Abayi says that he not namaste metalis. He says you're right. Our previous mishnah of the merchandise the krachen not was talking about a city, which is the amount of time it takes to show to a merchant. In contrast, you're right. A village would be let's say till Arab Shabbos. That's one shot. Rav Ami says no. Talis is different. Call inish kimli begava. Everyone is a mumchu when it comes to like a suit or whatever this and that. So what you paid this for a seller, but regarding currency, keep in love. Call inish kimli begava elashol. And not everyone is is well versed and proficient and knows the science of the economics. But a money changer, he'll go live with a krachim to So in this in this city where there's a money changer, it's real shulchan until he shows the money changer. Big farm by a village like a shulchan, there's no money changer. Then it depends. Then it's Ad Arab Shabbos, then up until Arab Shabbos, it's Salk Lashuka when he goes to the marketplace and he tries paying for the fish. And he goes, Ah, I'm not taking the money. Why not? I want to get my money back from the coin. That's where, uh, and he, he, when he's going to buy his, his Suda Shabbos, only then will he find out, and therefore that's until when he can back out. 
And the Mishnah then said that Vimhoyi Makira. Now, uh, if he recognized what the what the guy who was backing out is saying, then even after twelve months, he takes him from him and he only has Taremus. So the Gemara says, wait, hey, what are we talking about? Iba Krach, Iba's in the city. Ahmed, you said Ashir Allah and it's only until he chose the money changer, not twelve months. Iba Krum, it's a village. Or Ahmed Ashir Abba said up until Friday. What's this even after twelve months? So I'm saying, with the attribute of piety. And I'm saying, if he's a chassid, and he sees that the guy's right, that, that, that it, was, it was depreciated a 12th or 24th or whatever this and that, then even after 12 months, a chassid is going to take it back from the person. I hear. I hear. I hear. Unless the guy says he didn't use it or whatever, you could tell he didn't use it yet. I hear. That would be an interesting point. Unless you could tell from how much usual depreciation and it's more than that, and you can tell, right? So the Gemara says, the Gemara says, wait a second, let's see the Sefer. The next words are, in lo label terimus. So he only has complaints against him. Says the Gemara, this doesn't make sense. Laman, who's, who's complaining? Ilo chassid. In other words, if the chassid is the Mishnah telling us that now he has complaints on the guy who's giving it back to him, who forced him to take it that he should complain? <laughs> so the Gemara says, very interesting. Better like your blue little couple they don't be a grace of chassid. Don't take it back from him. And don't have tightness. Don't have complaints on him. You're saying, it. oh, look what he did to me, whatever. You know what I'm saying? A beautiful idea, says the Gemara. Better not be this great of chassid and have, you know, feel like a shmata and then complain to people. So, so what are you going to say? No, it's the one that he took the coin back from him that he has the complaints. But that doesn't make sense either. After the chassid took it from him, now he has tightness on him? What do you mean? It was a mistake and he's even reimbursing you. What, 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 the, uh, what the Gemara was saying was, was that ha'achar, but somebody else that's not a chassid and he does not want to take it back, although he does not take it back from him, he doesn't have to because he only got till Arab Shabbos at the most. In the love, I'll tell him is, you only have complaints because you caused the loss to yourself. You could have given it back in the appropriate time that you could have showed it to the shulchan or you could have showed it when you went to buy stuff and you didn't. That's your loss. All you have is tightness. The Mishnah said, however, that although we're saying that this coin, this uh, that's, you can't use it for business, but we said a nice little chain that you could use the chain. The consecration of your meisah. Ve'ne chayshem to be kazan chain el nefesh ra. Really, it's only bad character, bad personality. The people that don't want to take these coins. So I'm not public. Says Shmami. No, what we learn from this is is that Haiman the moiki azuzi. That somebody who um, stands on principle when it comes to he finds a little dent in the coin and he refused to take it, it's considered a bad personality. Now, like someone pointed out, says, Well, how much if a guy has to take that he's not a bad person? Meaning, if it, if it could be used in circulation and you don't want it because it's a little bit dented, that dollar bill is not perfectly crisp. You know, whatever it is, even if it's a losing a twenty fourth or whatever, this and that, then you're considered as a nefesh ra, and that's what our mission is indicating. So, so anyway, this supports my sheni. That supports the chizkia. Why? Because I'm a chizkia. Chizkia said the following halacha. He says, "Bol If someone is coming to um, exchange this sella, that's chaseira, that's lacking, that we spoke about in the mishnah, for prutais, for copper coins." Part of Bishavia, he could actually, uh, he, 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 in other words, he, uh, what happens is then he exchanges it for its actual value according to what it's lacking, meaning he shouldn't fool his friend uh, who's coming to exchange his Meister Shani funds according to its face value because it's not. But when he's coming to Mechal the Meister Shani onto the funds, Mechal could deconsecrate onto the funds the Meister according to what the seller is worth, Biyafa. At its face value, as if as if it was worth that amount. <clears throat> Says Gemara, wait, my kama. What what is Chizkia saying? When you come into uh, uh, exchange the sella for copper coins, and he says it has to be its actual value. What he's coming to tell us the halacha of the Mishnah? Of course, we said if it's pachis, if it's depreciated the amount of no, you say you now use it for its face value. Says no, no. He's saying hachi kama. What he's saying is alpha p. He's not he's not teaching you that. He's saying even though kishabal aparta. That when you come to Yerushalayim and you come to get copper coins to buy your Sudas Meiser, obviously we know part of Bishavia. Of course, you're going to 
uh, exchange it for copper coins according to its actual value, not according to its face value. Even so, that's what he's saying, it's considered a seller because it's only bad character. And therefore, when he's coming to be mechal, the meiser on the seller, mechal abiyafa, he could deconsecrate it as if it had the face value. What Chizki is coming to teach us is that the Mishnah that said that you could use it for meiser sheni is as if it was the face value of it, not the actual value. So the Gemara is bothered by this and says, remember, is this to say the Sabah Chizki, the Chizki holds the Mezalzalina of the Sheni, that we could be uh, disregarding um, regarding the Halacha of Maiser Sheni, that is, that you could be very constricting regarding the monetary value of the pidyon, meaning pidyon is saying very restricting. We... So you're being very precise here that you're going to be even under maybe under under chilling. People could be so so constricting, so regarding my sin, we actually prove to you that actually the opposite way. Because Vama Chizki, Chizki says uh, 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 another halacha, which is a little confusing, it's going to take us into the next daf, but he says the following halacha. He says, What happens is, if let's say you have Meister Shani, something, some, 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 some of, your, of your second tithe, that it, it, one little carrot was left out, and, and it's not worth a pruta. So the problem is, you want to go and you want to take all your stuff to your shalim. If there's one carrot, this one, the Mayadin, one little carrot, that, but it's Maiser Shani, you have to take it up to your shalim. You don't want to carry this carrot in your, in your, in your U-Haul. You're going to spoil this and that. The problem is, it doesn't have enough to take effect for redemption to give a proof to the Mechal. Because the Gemara is going to tell us later on, on the Gimel of Abayz, on the next daf, from the Pasi, Mi Maestro, Beloi Kol Maestro, there are certain exceptions. You cannot do Chil on something that's less than the Shavu Bruta. So what do you do? You're stuck. I'm not taking this carrot with me on my carry-on going up to, to Yushalayim on El Al. I'll take money, but I'm not taking this carrot. So what do I do? So he says, what you can do is like this. Oymer, the guy says, Hu v'chaim shay, the carrot and its fifth, which we said the Balabus, when he wants to be Mechal, he has to add on the fifth also. Mechulul al mois harishaynais. So this guy already has a suitcase full of hundreds. He already packed up all his Maishah Shaini money. We well, already was Mechal Maishah Shaini on. I still have that. Let this carrot be mechulul on that Maishah money I have in my suitcase. What does that mean? Didn't you already use that money to Mechal other produce? No. The fishy EF shall little other than the Tamsa because it's not possible for a person to make the chil exactly for the value, because a person's afraid from undercutting the Meister Shani, and we, because then it comes out, you might be eating um, some of your Meister Shani, which is now chulen, without having the mechalet. So a person naturally adds on to the value of the chil. So therefore, this carrot, let's say, is less than the Shavapruta, he can mechal on that excess that the guy for sure had made by the chil. So it's a very, you know, complicated case to ask from. But one thing we see from Rav Chizda, from Chizkia, is that I'm and for sure less than, and how can you tell me that the mission is needed coins for the chil of What do you mean? It's exactly the opposite. Not only do people use the exact value, but they even use more than the value. But right, we have a case of Chizkiah, and when the guy ha- doesn't know what to do because he has something less than a, a, a proof, they said, don't worry, Michal on the other stuff because you for sure overdid it. So we see we overdo it. So how can you say we're underdoing it? Says Gemara. I mean in the Mishnah that you could be Michal the Maishr Shani on it, the Yafa, it means Beturis Yafa, means, as Rashi explains, its actual value. In other words, what we were saying was, just like, and this was what the teaching was, of Chizki was teaching. Change it for copper coins in Yushalayim. No one's going to take it from you what the face value is because it's depreciated. They only take the, the actual value. And um, the, there's going to be a disgrace of its, of its, of its monies more than uh, what it's depreciated because people are not going to take it for its face value. So too, when you come to Mechalet, you have Mechalet in its actual value, which are lesser values. Like Rashi explains, so what does that mean by Teres Yafa? Meaning, um, when you're Mechal on it, 
according to the definitive value um, of it, that um, uh, so too you cannot be mechal on it. Um, the, the the only but the actual value that for sure is in it, meaning the le- the least amount that's possible. To the contrary, I mean no one's going to take it from. They're probably even going to pay you less than what they what it, what it was depreciated because they a a coin. I'll take it. That's how you can do the the chil osa because as the Gemara explains, the tzei zili lemes azin bay. Two do races we're not going to do to it. Mishnah that you could use this uh, really not such great coins. They're really a no coin. You could use a ma'aser sheni. Grace you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to be mechal ma'aser sheni on a deficient coin. But we don't say meaning and the chiddush is we don't say it's like an asimon or like moist that were given as a simon which you can't even use. They're not coins at all. No, we'll consider the, the coin. But two disgraces mechal ma'aser sheni on its face. And um, so again, we're going to come back to this Allah of Chizkiah. It's going to be in greater detail in the next daf. But we used it as a, a, a point of reference to ask, and that we actually ended up clarifying that when our Mishnah says that Yimichal Demay Sasheni on this coin, it just means to say, not really B'yafa, but B'dmei Yafa means how it's normally used in regular, which actually, you're right, is actually less, not actually more. People will not pay. People will not even That's exactly how I use it, because that's what we saw from Chizkiah, that people don't undercut Meiser. If anything, they overdo it because they're, they're afraid that, oh, I don't want to make sure, I want to make sure that I'm not Mechal, uh, that I don't have anything that's, that was not Mechul. And therefore, uh, that's actually why when you have something less, you, you can go ahead and re- You had overdone it anyway, and you can Mechal that on the excess that you had over there. That's exactly what the Allah of Mishnah is. Thank you for any time. Thank you.